Okay, uh, I've got a kit here. Um, let me get my my tray. We'll open it up. Um, I believe I got this from Banggood. Um, it's the SKU number SKU three three two five six one. Um, three three two five six one. And uh, I've built one of these before for a project, and I really liked it. Uh, so I ordered another one. I think they're handy. And uh, I've already built that that one into a project, so I don't have it available around me. So it's definitely a kit. And um, what it is, it's a um, it's a uh, voltage converter board. And it's not just a buck boost thing type. Um, it's actually quite clever. The input is anywhere from 5 volts to 24 volts. And the output is plus 12, minus 12, plus 5, minus 5, and plus 3.3. .3. So um, it's really nice to have on your lab bench um, if you need all of these voltages. So if, you, if you're building a little... Um, you know, a little proto circuit. You can just kind of put this off to the side, and you can get all the voltages you want. Uh, if you're doing analog circuitry, you know the plus and minus twelve is nice. Plus five for all your logic. If you have some three point three stuff, so I mean everything's on this board. It's great. So it's just one voltage in, and then everything out. Um, it is um, uh, some uh, surface mount and some through hole. Um, so there's some uh, surface mount. Inductors. Uh, there's three surface mount, surface mount inductors, and there's some surface mount um, voltage regulators. Uh, let's see, there's a negative five here, a negative twelve here, um, a plus. So, so this is a seventy nine oh five. This is a seventy nine twelve. A seventy eight. A plus one. Plus seventy eight oh five. Plus five. Seventy eight twelve. So a plus twelve. Um, and those are surface mount parts. Uh, there's a, a 3.3 .3 volt regulator, um, a 1117 uh, surface mount part there. Um, there's a 6008, so I think that's an FET. Um, and uh, what else do we have here? Let's see somebody. Oh, that is a um, that is a five pin part. Um, so that might be kind of an all inclusive uh, converter chip. And there's some cute little um, heat sinks that you can glue. They have double sticky on them. You can put the double sticky on all of the parts that get hot. And some terminal blocks. So it's a nice little kit. Um, don't remember what I paid for it. Um, and I think what we'll do, I think the last time I built this board, uh, I didn't have a, a surface mount oven. I think I did it all by hand, which was which was doable. Um, some of the parts are a little tricky, like the, um, the inductors. Uh, Kind of have to get off to the side with a with a skinny tip, and get the get the solder to wick underneath. So doing it in the surface mount oven would be a little easier, I think. So I think I'll do that. I'll put on the uh, surface mount parts on first, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. All right, got them in the oven. All right, let's take a look to see how they came out. Wow, nice. Um, Everything reflowed very nicely. Okay, quite pleased with that. Let's uh, put some uh, surface mount parts, I mean, uh, the through hole parts in.
All right, here we go. So I'll load it up. Um, I noticed a couple things, which is nice. Um, there's a um, 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 polyfuse, a uh, solid state fuse here. I think it's a three amp. So if you overcurrent this thing, short it out, it's got this uh, resettable solid state fuse, which are great. I really like these things. Um, it also has a, um, a USB connector, so you could bring in the uh, uh, power in, I believe, on a USB. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's a mini, mini USB. Or you could bring the power in on this connector here. Looks like there's a couple LEDs. There's an LED for the raw power, and then a couple LEDs are here on the output. Uh, I'm not sure which voltages are hooked up over there. I mean, it either works or it doesn't. Um, the only other thing that's interesting is um, there are some via holes um, underneath the uh, regulators. These are thermal thermal vias, and um, the the little uh, heat sinks that you get actually stick on the back of the board, um, not on the front side of the board, but on the uh, on the back side of the board. So I'll put those on and we'll power it up. Okay, let's put some power on here. Oh, there we go. LEDs. So we have, uh, like I said, the three LEDs. And uh, let, me, uh, let me get a voltmeter here so we can monitor, monitor what's going on. Uh, let's see. Everything's going to be in the way here. Okay, let's zoom out. Oh. I think you can still, I think you can still see that. So. Let's uh, look at the uh, the voltage input. Uh, the voltage input is hello. I don't think I've got my ground connected up. There we go. So we have nine volts. Uh, nine volts going into the board. I think I got a reflection there. That's a little better. So nine volts going into the board. Uh, here's plus 12, 12.02, uh, minus 11.94, uh, plus 5.05, minus 4.933, and 3.266. So there you go. Um, it's a great little board. Um, so you have an all-inclusive uh, all-inclusive power supply. Uh, it'd be great for a solar shed type thing, 12 volts in and everything out. Um, yeah, uh, it's a great little board. I forget what I like. I said, I forget what I paid for it, but it's not too much. I think it's like eight dollars or something. It was like a uh, really great. Um, but uh, yeah, check it out.